Yes, praise God. Uh, my name is Reverend uh, Sapati. I'm here at our Nanyuki Methodist Church. And I want to greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a very beautiful morning. And I want to appreciate God for the gift of life. And I want to again uh, thank God for giving us life. We cannot take it for granted. Again, I want to welcome you to our midday, uh, midweek service. And we thank God for keeping you well. And it's my prayer that you are all doing well in the Lord. And I'm very happy for you. I just want us to share the word of God. I'm reading from the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter number 16, verse 25 through verse 26. And the Bible says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Verse 26. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison was shaken at once and all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chains came to loose. Verse 26, suddenly there was a violent earthquake. The theme of the word of God today is God has a suddenly for all of us. God has a suddenly happening for all of us. And I want to encourage you, our viewers, wherever you are watching us, that this season, expect God to move suddenly in your life, in your family, in your health. There will be a suddenly visitation of God in our lives. There will be a suddenly visitation of God in our life. The Bible says here that about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns. Brothers and sisters, there is power in singing and praising God. When our praises goes up, blessings come down. Other prisoners were sleeping. But the Bible says Paul and Silas, they were praying and singing hymns to God. They are praising God. No matter this, the situation that they were, they were in prison. But the Bible says these two guys, they were praising and singing hymns to God. And the Bible says, and about midnight, there's something happened. Something great happened. The Bible says, suddenly, there was a violent earthquake that the foundation of the prison was shaken. And at once, everyone changed came loose. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are watching us, that this season of suddenly happening, project will be completed. Good things will happen. There will be no limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. It is God's timing for us. Praise the Lord. Project will be completed. Good things will happen in this season of suddenly happenings. There will be no limitation in your life. It is God's timing for us. No matter how long or how hard it has been, God has a suddenly for you. It doesn't matter the situation you are. It doesn't matter how hard it has been. I'm here to encourage you that God has a suddenly miracle for you. God has a suddenly, something great is going to happen. A miracle is on the way coming to you. 
Your healing is on the way coming. It doesn't matter the report of the doctor. It doesn't matter. But I'm here to tell you and to encourage you, brethren, that a suddenly is going to happen for you. There will be a suddenly breakthrough. A suddenly breakthrough is going to happen to you. Suddenly, your health will change for better. Suddenly, your health will change for better. Suddenly, your situation is going to change for better. Suddenly, your business is going to pick up. Suddenly, God is going to restore back your health. There will be a suddenly happening in your life. Things will not be the same again. Yes, it doesn't matter how long it has taken. But I'm here to tell you this morning that when we praise God, when we raise our voices and to praise God, even in the middle of the situation that we are, God is telling us that suddenly something is going to happen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Suddenly your health will change for better. A total manifestation of healing will happen to you. Suddenly your finances will improve. Yes, right now we are all of us crying for the, for the harsh situation of our economy. Things are not okay. People are suffering. People are struggling. But I'm here to encourage you this morning that suddenly our finances will improve. Suddenly, your loved one will be saved. Suddenly, God moves and immediately doors are opening. This happened to these two guys when they were in prison. They were singing and praising God. But suddenly something happened. Every chain was loose. There is power in praising the Lord. Suddenly God moved and immediately the doors are opening. This morning I want to encourage you that God will move in a very mighty way to make sure that doors are opening for us. God will shake things up and open doors for us. It is God himself who will shake that situation, who will shake that sickness, who will shake that struggle. It is God himself who will shake that situation and make sure that the door is open for us. The Bible says here, suddenly, at the, at the right time, God will move and needs will be met. Hallelujah. What an encouraging word of God this morning. That suddenly, at the right time, God will move in a very mighty way and needs will be met. That need that you have, I'm here to tell you and to encourage you through the word of God that suddenly, at the right time, and I believe that the right time is right now. Today is our right time to see God moving in a very mighty way in our lives. The Bible says here that when in the book of Isaiah, verse 60, line 22, the Bible says, when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, this is the right time for you to see God moving in a very mighty way in your life. This is the right time for you to see your family members be saved. This is the right time for you to see the manifestation of divine healing in your life. This is the right time for you to see God moving in a very mighty way and to make things good for you. God is going to, 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 to change our situation. God is going to move in a very mighty way. God is turning around, everything around for our advantage. Hallelujah. Feel encouraged, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are. The Bible says here that Paul and Silas, other prisoners were sleeping. But these two guys, the Bible says, they were praising God. Haingia jalisha walikuwa nakaa vipi? Haijajalisha mazingira yao ilikuwa inakaaje? Lakini maandiko inasema ya kwamba wao walipojua siri ya maombi. They knew that when we praise God, that when we call upon him, something happens. 
So my brothers and sisters, feel encouraged that a suddenly is going to happen in your life. A suddenly happening is going to happen for your life. Thank you so much. Let us believe and pray this prayer this morning. Lord of all the nations, you display your power in all the world. You are miracle working God. You turn water into wine. You restore the sight of the blind and made the deaf hear. You made the lame walk. You healed the sick and raised the dead. You conquer death in your resurrection. Everything you touch is powerfully transformed. Give us the strength to follow you and bless us and keep us well, dear Father. Father, I pray for all our viewers wherever they are. You understand their situation. The Bible says that you know us by our names. Father, I pray, Lord, that you may touch them. Let them experience a suddenly happening in their life. Restore back their joy. Restore back their strength. Father, Lord, and walk with us and be with us. We worship your name and we bless you for who you are. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much. May God bless you and have a very wonderful week full of God's blessing. Amen. Amen. amen.